Hello guys, if you observe cockroaches, spiders or all kind of bugs entering your house or either it's a, uh, apartment, well the problem is your vans hoses uh, apparently broken and uh, the bugs entering through them, uh, they actually need to be fixed because you're cooling or heating uh, getting out your uh, pipes and uh, basically they go in the earth and you're heating up or cooling the earth instead of your uh, living area but unfortunately when you live in a uh, apartment complex or you just rent in a house you know landlords sometimes don't really want to spend any money uh, to maintain their property for the uh, tenants and to fix that kind of issue it's actually cost quite a bit of money uh, you can walk around and, 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 and spray uh, poison to kill uh, the bugs, but that's not really working most of the time. You're still gonna have cockroaches uh, entering, uh, and that's what I had here. I used a lot of um, poison to kill him, but it didn't really work. I time to time, time to time, I do have the bugs entering and I have to run them and find him and kill him but <clears throat> there is a really easy way to actually prevent the bugs getting inside and it's install a screen on them well unfortunately Lois or Home Depot or any kind of stores like that home improvement stores they do not sell any kind of screens like that that you can install uh, pretty much the screen is like you see on the windows but in this video I will show you how to easily make your own screen and prevent bugs to enter in your living area usually you can find a vent installed uh, on your floor or uh, on your uh, roof or some of them coming right from uh, from the walls um, most of the time they just screw when on the floor um, they just could lay and you can just grab them and pick them up um, some of them are glued the one are like glue you have to really careful to remove them uh, by uh, using a cut cardboard cutter uh, to not damage any um, a paint that could be covered the whole vent when the wall was painted and then you can uh, prior with a um, maybe like a pet, patching knife uh, or um, any kind of knife or a screwdriver but in my case I have only uh, two screws and basically it's really easy just to unscrew them Now after we uh, removed AC vent, uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut uh, the fiberglass screen. It looks just like it. You can purchase at any uh, home improvement store like a Lois or Home Depot. Uh, do not get the metal one because it's not gonna work. It's gonna be really complicated to uh, install it. Just get the fiberglass black or any color that you desire. And, uh, on my specific size of vent it's actually 4 by 12 so I just cut uh, the screen uh, 4 by 12 and <clears throat> using a heating gun and a glue I'm gonna go ahead and, and apply uh, the screen protector uh, so let's go ahead and do it now before I start it um, it's very important that do not apply the screen when the vent is closed like that because when you apply it and try to open the van there's nothing gonna work so on the van open that's when you apply your screen
when you glue edges uh, you need to make sure that you do not over tie the edges which first you have to glue uh, the sides of the screen and then uh, the top but if you over tie what's gonna happen the corner of the advanced uh, doors will clog and you won't be able to open you will damage the vent uh, screen right away so when you uh, glue it make sure you left a lot of room uh, between the screen and uh, the vent doors Now our band is completely done and we can go ahead and install it just like that and you can always open and close your bands with no problem just like I said make sure you do not over tie the screen. Now the screen can uh, clog with the dust over time but it also depends if you it depends on your filtration system it depends how uh, dirty uh, your uh, living area it is and but I would say generally one or one and a half year um, it will clog. You always can rinse it up the, under the water and, and, and clean it or you just can replace that. And it's very easy to replace and remove that kind of uh, screen. You just, it's already already dry so you can just always peel, peel the screen just like, just like that. That's it, and you can replace it with a, a newer screen. When you finish installing screen on the van, you just can go ahead and put it back and secure it with, the, with your screws or either glue it back. Um, to glue it back, you can use um, caulking or um, liquid screws. It's not gonna hurt anything but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Now you're fully protected from any kind of bugs entering your area. Of course, an exception of uh, ants and like really small spiders, but I don't think so is gonna be big of the deal with dealing with the little box than dealing with a huge big water box or um, spiders, especially spo poison spiders such as um, black widows. Uh, thank you for watching guys.